Now we will guide you through the fabrication of an onlay using the Ceramatch Microceramic Indirect Composite System. Prepare the die in a similar manner as explained before and separate from the tray for the fabrication of onlay. Overview of the basic build-up technique of inlay or onlay. Step 1. Application of spacer. Step 2. Application of separator. Step 3. Application of Ceramatch Flow. Step 4. Buildup of dentin or body. Step 5. Buildup of enamel. Step 6. Finishing and polishing. Application of Spacer. Take the Ceramatch Spacer and shake the bottle to ensure uniform consistency. Apply the spacer in a thin, even layer onto the entire working area. And let it dry from milky color to transparent. This step is important to achieve sufficient space for the resin cement during final placement of the restoration. Application of Separator Apply the Ceramage step in a thin, even layer onto the entire working area. This step is very important to ensure easy separation. Application of Ceramage Flow Now, select the Ceramage Flow body shade which is designed specially to apply on the undercut areas during fabrication of inlays and onlays. Dispense the required quantity onto the dispensing well and apply on the undercut areas and floor of the cavity. The low viscosity enables the material to flow to areas difficult to reach. Then temporary cure using the sublight which is ideal to cure small amounts of material. Buildup of dentine. Next, select the appropriate shade of Ceramatch body to build up the dentine area. Dispense the required amount onto the paper pad. Spatulate to achieve the workable consistency. Pick up the desired quantity and apply it gently to avoid inclusion of air bubbles. Build up incrementally to ensure maximum cure which enhances the physical properties of the material. Remove the excess using a cutting knife. Place the working die in the Solidolite light box and cure for 3 minutes. Now, place the adjacent die back on the model. Next, we use internal staining and characterizations using Solidex stains. Select orange and brown stains and dispense the required amount of each stain onto the paper pad. Then mix the two stains to obtain an orangey-brown color. These stains are very intense. Therefore, it's important to use small amounts. Now, apply the mixed stains on the groups and inner walls of dentin surface with a brush to create internal characterizations.
temporary cure in the sublight for about 30 seconds to stabilize the stain. Add more Ceramatch body and build up the dentine. Use a cutting knife to carve the occlusal fissure and remove excess from the margin area. Light cures the dentin layer for one minute in the Solidolite. Select the occlusal effect color to create a more natural occlusal appearance. Dispense the required amount onto the paper pad and adapt gently on the occlusal surface of the onlay. Create the occlusal anatomy during buildup. Remove the excess with a cutting knife from the margin. Place the model with the dye in the Solidolite light box and light cure for one minute. Buildup of enamel. Select the appropriate incisal shade and dispense the required amount onto the paper pad. Then apply on the occlusal surface and build up the enamel layer. Place in the light box and light here for 3 minutes. The inlay after curing is complete. Finishing and polishing. Start the anatomical carving with a Fisher carbide burr of trigonal pyramid shape, specially designed for carving of occlusal fissures. Next, use the HR2 silicon point to gloss polish the restored surface. The hard Robinson brush with Dura Polish Aluminum Oxide Paste to pre-polish the surface. Then, polish using the soft Robinson brush with Dura Dia Diamond Polishing Paste. Finally, super polish with a buff disc to obtain a glaze-like surface. Separate the onlay from the die using a composite instrument. Remove the separator from the internal surface of the onlay. Mr. Joby Ung. Produced.